Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you! Fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. I know it all seems exciting right now, but you need to make a plan. Stick together as a community. That's going to help you survive any dangers this world throws at you. Thank you for your wise words, Jesse. This is fantastic advice to live by. Ah, oh, I'm deeply saddened to hear you speak like this, Jesse. I thought we were fighting for the same thing. But I suppose not. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. Your contributions to our world will never be forgotten. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. Try and play nice with Milo, okay? I know he's a little crazy and you don't always get along, but he really does care about the people. Yes, I'm starting to see that, and I will do my best. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some crafting lessons I'd like to give people. Where's Reginald? You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's all right. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. That would be the case. But luckily, you had me as your advance scout when I was on the ground with the Founder before. I totally found the portal! And you didn't say anything?! Yeah! I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause... I could've sworn I said something. No! You didn't! Huh. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on! Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are! So sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the Founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name! Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. <sighs> Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a civilization to rebuild. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? I was just thinking that I'm glad the Founder and Benedict have each other. Yeah, that is nice. Yes, yes. Very heartwarming. See, just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. 
Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe... It... That's... Not what I was expecting. <laughs>